one of the stars of Falcon Crest, and she co-stars in the new movie Conan the De Conan the Destroyer, which will be released on June 29th. I keep wanting to say Conan the Decorator, you know, it's like Conan the Destroyer. Please welcome Miss Sarah Douglas. And you're very tall. I know. It's I know. wonderful. How tall are you? I fluctuate. <laughs> between? Be between about 5'9 and about 6'1, depending on what they want, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh, that, oh, does that sound like an actress? That's... <laughs> no, Cause... but it, it's, it's true. It's like in, uh, in Superman, I was six foot, uh, one, I think. Superman 2. And Superman 1, briefly. Where were you in Superman 1? Shh. We went off in that sheet of glass. Don't you remember at the beginning, Brando, he flattened us in a sheet of glass and shot us off into outer space. That was you? Yes. It was painful. Oh. oh. <laughs> was it exciting working with Marlon Brando? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I mean, thank goodness I didn't really have to um, say anything to him, but he had all his words stuck on my forehead. And I mean, it was, I couldn't believe it. I mean, he actually stuck them there, and I thought, oh, it's marvelous. What an experience. And, and Superman 2, you played Ursa. evil. Yes. Evil. Yeah. You're doing a lot of evil ladies now. Yes. I just suck in my cheeks and flash my eyes and they pay me. It's, it's wonderful. That's, and <laughs> now you're, uh, they brought you on to Fork and Crest mm -hmm. to be the, the rival of Joan Collins. What does that mean? Well, I mean, it's not. How can I, how can I, I wouldn't even begin to say I was a rival to Joan Collins. I mean, she, if I was doing all that she was doing, God knows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Um, no, but I mean, I'm, I'm, yes, I think as, as the English contribution, they brought me in and it was, it started off that I was going to be like Joan because I'm English, but that's about where the similarity stops. Do you, but do people keep saying to you over and over again, well, here you come, you're going to be the rival of Joan Collins? Yeah, they won't let it, they, they won't let it drop, you know, they just want to make an issue of it all the time. So, I mean, I'm looking over my shoulder all the time to see if Joan's behind me. But, uh, God, if I had half the popularity and half the following, we'd oh. be laughing. Yeah, oh, but uh, why do you think it is that English now means elegant and very bitchy when women are, you know what I mean? That, no, but all that... I love the way you shake your head like true? a little... Yeah, For yes. some reason, you come out and go, hello, you go trouble, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I guess um, elegant is... I, I wouldn't say I'm too elegant. I'm making an effort tonight. I mean, I'm wearing a frock. I haven't worn one since I got married, but... Uh, what do you I'm... usually wear? Socks? So <laughs> Guy. What? Just curious to know. Yeah. Oh no, um, I, no, I'm, I, I'm more comfortable, I mean, especially living out here in California, you can get away with shorts and t-shirts and all of that. But I have a little dress and I see the way you dress so beautifully. So well, I try. Bit... It's evening, we should dress up. To... Oh, well, this is in the... England now you're dressed up. I know. We dress up all the time. And also, I thought my mother would be happy to see me in a little black, she always wanted me to wear a little black dress, a little black number. So yep. did my mom. Did she? <laughs> <laughs> is your... <laughs> <laughs> but this is not a little black dress. It's cut all the way up your thigh. There is no back, from no, what I could tell. I couldn't afford a back. Oh, and there's no. nothing much going on in front either. Oh, I don't know Just, about that. What well, do you reckon? <laughs> he says there is. Now, how does your husband feel about you becoming a big sex symbol? Well, I think he's rather excited. He just said he wishes I was like that when I was at home. Yeah. You know the deal. Oh, do you want, how long are you married? Uh, we've been we've been together nine years. We've been married three years. Yes. So he's uh, yes. He keeps saying, "God, I wish you know." I mean, he doesn't believe it's me, and it's. I, I try. I try to go home and be all sophisticated and nice, but you know, you got the washing up to do and you got the you know the gardening to do and stuff. Isn't that where is home? Do you consider this America well, now or England? Yeah, I'm here at the moment, and 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 Rich is in London. Um, he's in England at the moment. Oh, oh. So that, that, well, I don't know if that's not good. Is that good or is that bad? Well, we we found it. It's the best form of contraception for us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I fell flat, didn't it? No, I didn't. Oh, you got it, thank you. Hold the phone it. between your legs. <laughs> yes! Yes! No. No, this is true! The next best thing to being there. <laughs> you get that delayed action on the phone, which is great, you know. Did you come? Did you come? Did you come? Yes, uh, it's just... Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so,
your husband stays in England? I mean, where is home for you now? <laughs> <laughs> Just right off the subject. Oh. Where is home for you? Um, um, England, I, we have two choices. I have England no, or I, I, I am here now, and tomorrow I'm going to go very fast to England. We've just bought a house in England, and um, I, I, I'm here doing Falcon Crest, and then I go home. And where do you think you're going to end up? In England, oh, Maria. Arrested, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so aren't you lonely? Who do you hang out with? I mean, I know the English. England. The English people are absolutely wonderful. I mean, there's a great British sort of contingent out here who are, are very, are just are great. Yeah, but I also heard that you're a very good friend of someone that I'm a big fan of, which is Grace Jones. Oh, Grace. Yes, yes. Oh, I think she's fabulous. I know, I know. Oh. Yeah, she, yes, but she, we, we, I don't know what it is. We seem to get in a lot of trouble together. We, uh, we just recently, I came out here to the Grammys. Oh, she was out here for the Grammys, and I went... Um, with her and I, before we'd even we got to, did the Grammys and then we went to the party that built more before we even arrived arrived there the limo, limousine driver refused to carry us any further he said you know you don't want you girls in the car you're so tacky and trashy I oh. hasten to add I was an absolute joy and a delight Grace was a little you know but anyway he threw us out of the car we get he into threw the you, uh, wait a second hold it he <laughs> threw you no not me Grace and I sort of hung onto the back of her. He he said, <laughs> "What yeah. were you doing in the car that a limo driver?" She said, "You know what she said? Seriously, she said um, he was talking back, and you know you have the partitions between you, and he kept talking back at us." And she said, "Do you mind not to keep talking through your little microphone?" And uh, she, and she he went on talking, and she said, "What a creep!" That was her word. Now, if it had been me, it would have been a little bit stronger. Yeah, stronger. But she said, "What a creep!" And the next thing is, he screeched the car, and he said get out and get your own car. I said, fine, we'll get a bus. I mean, I mean, I know how to do this. He throws us out of the car. We get into the Biltmore. We don't have our party tickets for the Grammy thing. So suddenly, they won't let us into the party. And Grace is standing there screaming, yeah. saying, I'm yeah. But you would notice the two of you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And the security lady got very officious, and she poked Grace like this. And I said, let's just go home. Of course, we get outside. No limousine. I am trying to get a taxi, and all the people arrive, and a Stevie Wonder, and everybody's glamorous. Grace is screaming. You know the way that girl, she has a mouth. Uh. Anyway, she's screaming, and uh, the next thing is, is the police come up to arrest us for causing a disturbance. But he goes to Grace, he said, I'm going to arrest you, and she's screaming so much that he looked at me, and he said, well, I'm going to arrest you then. I said, how? I said, how dare you? I haven't said a word. Anyway, we ended up going home in a very smart little yellow checkered cab with sort of furry dice on the back, which is very appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> and she's your best friend? She, well, we did Conan together. We had a yeah. great time. And we needed all, there's so much muscle on that film. We needed all the help we could get. What about the, the, the police, the escapade, the uh, English oh. police, the American police, the English Are you in trouble often well, with the police over here? Well, it's just, it's, it's, they keep stopping me. And I'm, uh, in, in England, they don't stop you too often. I got stopped. Well, I didn't get stopped the other day. This was the trouble. I saw them in my head, in my rear mirror, and I thought if I put my foot down, I suddenly remembered all those films that you saw on television where you speed up the Hollywood Hills. Right. And I sped and sped, and finally he caught up with me, and he said, were you trying to outrun us, ma'am? And I said, well, yes. I mean, what does the girl say? And then he said, you're English? And he said, he said, don't you know the meaning of stop? And I said, no, of course I don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he was very nice. I did that. I did my. I, I flashed a few credits, and I, I've heard that's what you do in this town. And he didn't give me a ticket. You think it's the English accent that gets them? Yes, every time. Yeah. Every time. I don't really speak like this at home. I mean, at home I'll talk like that. Because my husband. <laughs> True. My husband's English. She can say anything to me. Oh, go to hell! You go. Thank you, thank you. I know. It sounds so classic. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's like you say. Oh, I don't. Is this a rude? I'm going to say a rude word again, aren't I? I'm going to say it. I say smart ass, and I'm told that that is. And you're supposed to say smart ass, and I say you smart ass, and everyone, and everyone sounds, goes thank you. Yes, thank you. How nice. Well, that's because on, on television, when you say that, it sounds like smart beep. Yes, yeah, so the same thing. We'll be right back at the sense of interest. So please. We're back talking. What a nice evening. Doc, I want to thank you as usual. Engelbert Humperdinck be still my heart. You will be on Engelbert Humperdinck on Broadway June 5th through 17th. 17th. And then Universal Amphitheater July 6th and 7th. And always a pleasure to have you here. Oh, you. Howie Mandel, stay elsewhere and welcome to the fun zone on Saturday night, yeah. right? Can I just say hi to somebody? Sure. Uh, hi. <laughs> And Conan the Destroyer. Okay. Right. Tomorrow night we have a great show. We have Ginger Rogers, Harvey Feinstein, Feinstein, and David Brennan. So please come back and see us then. Thank you, Johnny.
Joe Rivers wardrobe furnished by Albert Dupont. Next on Late Night with David Letterman, meet comedian Richard Lewis and actress Laurie Singer of Footloose. All on NBC. Be there.